Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my video series on analysis of cables and arches. So in the previous videos, we have seen one numerical example on analysis of cables. So in the same line, we'll see one more simple example for the analysis of cable. So now this is a three segment cable. So here we need to de determine the tension in each cable segment and also we need to determine the value of this YD that is distance from A and D. We have two point loads, 2 and 4 kilonewtons, which are acting at B and C respectively. So we need to first determine the tension in each and in every segment of this cable. And finally, we need to find the value of this YD. So let us find that. So what I will do, I will st first start with joint B and try to find out what are the forces in the segments BA and BC. So let me draw the free body diagram of joint B. Okay, now we have drawn the free body diagram of joint B. So we have two segments TBC and TBA both in tension and we have a load of 2 kN which is acting at joint B. So what I will do first let me find the values of theta and phi. So here this will be actually theta and this will be phi. So I can easily write tan theta is equal to 7 divided by 4 and tan phi is equal to 2 divided by phi. So I can write that. So let me write the things directly. So theta equal to tan inverse of 7 by 4 which is coming out to be 60 point two five degrees and phi is equal to tan inverse of two by phi which is coming out to be twenty one point eight degrees. So this is sixty point two five degrees this is twenty one point eight degrees. So once I know all these things, I can directly apply the equations of equilibrium. So let me first apply the equation of equilibrium summation of fx equal to zero, taking forces in this direction as positive. So when I do that, so TBA will have a negative component. So minus TBA cos of 60.25 TBC will have a positive component so plus TBC into cos of 21.8 so this equal to 0 so I will just simplify that so it comes out to be minus 0 0.5 TBA plus 0.93 TBC equal to 0. So let me just call this as equation 1. I will apply the another equilibrium equation summation of Fy equal to 0 taking forces in this direction as positive upward direction as positive. So TBA will have a positive component so it is TBA sine of 60.25 TBC will have a negative component so minus TBC sine of 21.8 and we have this 2 kilonewtons so that is minus 2 equal to 0 so if I try to simplify that it comes out to be 0 0.86 TBA 0.86 TBA minus 0.37 TBC 0.37 TBC equal to 2 so now you can see equation 1 and 2 are like a two simultaneous equations with two unknowns which we can solve them easily and I will get the value of TBA as 3.02 kilonewtons and value of 
TBC as 1.62 kN. So now this is how uh, I can find the tension in the segments BA and BC. Now I also have another uh, alternate approach. First what I will do, let me just redraw this free body diagram on a separate side here. Okay, I have already once again drawn the free body diagram. Now I know this angle and this angle. What I will do, I will try to find out what is the included angle between all the forces. That is this angle I will try to find. I will also try to find this angle and I will also try to find this angle. Since I know this and this angle, the calculating these angles will not be a problem. So let me write those angles directly. So this angle is coming out to be 68.2 degrees. This angle is coming out to be 141.51 degrees. So this angle is coming to be 150.25 degrees. So if you are able to find any two of these angles, the third angle can be calculated like 360 minus the summation of other two angles. Now here what I will do is, it is very simple, I will try to apply something called as Lamis theorem. Lamis theorem here. So Lamis theorem states that when three, three concurrent forces, when three concurrent forces, okay, these these three forces are three concurrent forces are acting away from the particle like if I consider this as a particle they are acting away from the particle then each force is proportional to sine of the angle between the other two right so I hope you know these things clearly so what I can do here is now T B C divided by sine of the angle between the other two Okay, now TBC is there. The other two forces are TBA and 2 kN. So sine of the angle between them is 150.25. So TBC divided by sine of 150.25 equal to TBA divided by sine of the angle between the other two. So that will be 68.2 equal to 2 divided by sine of the angle between the other two that is 141.51 so now you can solve one by one so you can take these two things once and you can take this and this again and solve the values of TBC and TBA so using this I'm getting TBC as one point six kilonewtons I'm I'm getting T B A as two point nine eight kilonewtons. Okay, you can just compare the values. Decimal places here and there may have some changes, but this approach is also available for you. That is Lamis theorem. But the condition is you should clearly know what is the included angle between the all the forces. That is the only thing you should know. If you know those things, you can easily find the unknown forces. Now uh, let's move to joint C, right? And draw the free body diagram of joint C here. Okay, now I have drawn the free body diagram of joint C. So TBC or TCB, the tension in this segment I already know which is coming out to be 1.62. I will name the tension in this segment CD as TCD. We also have a joint load of 4 kN which is acting at C. Now let me apply summation of uh, equilibrium equations. Now here I can't apply the Lamis theorem directly because I don't know this angle beta. So when I don't know I can't calculate this included angle. So let me go with the basics that is summation of fx equal to 0 all the forces is in this direction as positive so this comes out to be so for TCB it comes negative minus 
1.62 cos of 21.8 plus TCD into cos beta equal to 0 so I can just rewrite this as TCD cos beta is equal to 1.5 I will name this as uh, equation 3 let me apply another equilibrium equation summation of f y equal to 0 upward forces as positive so once I do that so this comes out to be 1.62 sine of 21.8 plus TCD into sine of beta minus 4 equal to 0 I will write it as equal to 4 so this is equation 4 sorry uh, I will not call this as equation 4 I have to just simplify this equation further so it is TCD sine of beta so this term I will take it on right hand side so 4 minus 1.6 to sine 21.8 so that comes out to be 3.4 this I will call it as equation 4 so by inspecting equation 4 and equation 3 I will divide equation 4 divided by equation 3 so TCD TCD will go sin beta divided by cos beta is tan beta equal to 3.4 divided by 1.5 so this will lead me to value of beta as 66.2 degrees so if I substitute the value of beta in equation 3 or 4 I can get the value of tension in the segment CD TCD as 3.71 kilonewtons okay so this is how I got the tension in the cable CD so I, now I found all the tensions in all the cables the only thing is I need to find the value of YD so now if I consider this right angle triangle that is this one this and this let me just rewrite that so I need to consider this right angle triangle so that is this from here and this one so this angle is beta which I already know the value that is 66.2 degrees so then this length I can call it as 3 times tan beta ok that is tan beta is equal to actually this length divided by 3 so this length is equal to 3 times tan beta so now I know the distance from here up to here which is equal to 7 plus 2 9 so I can write a kind of equation something like this that is yd plus 3 times tan beta that is yd plus 3 times tan beta is equal to 7 plus 2 which is equal to 9 so I already know the value of beta which I substitute in this equation I can get the value of yd as 2.10 meters so this is how you can in by inspection by general inspection and uh, applying equations of equilibrium you can quickly find the tensions in the segments and the sag of any cable right 
So we'll solve some more examples on the cables in the next videos. Till then, thank you. Bye.